Welcome to Ryan Make. Does the form of something change its properties or the potential that it has? Take for example simple materials like flour or cinnamon or powdered sugar. If you were to see these lying in a pile on a table, they might be about as interesting as dirt. But give them a breath of fresh air and their explosive potential is revealed. While changing circumstances or environments can be critical to finding new solutions, it can also create new problems of their own. This is borne out in the past with examples such as the Washburn Mill explosion in 1878 where 22 people died due to grain dust, or a Thai color festival in 2015 that injured over 500 people when a cloud of cornstarch burst into flames. Now all that to say, this demonstration can be very dangerous, so please, don't try this at home. There are so many substances that are seemingly innocuous, that are packing real dangerous potential, and you have no further to look than your own kitchen or local coffee bar. We're going to be testing a whole host of these materials, ranging from powdered coffee creamer to granulated sugar to powdered sugar to cinnamon to even coffee grounds. And then we're looking at some other materials such as cornstarch or common baking flour to see what sort of dust explosions we can make from these materials. Now, it took a couple of iterations, but we finally got our dust explosion flamethrower to work by taking a couple dollars worth of miscellaneous parts and attaching them to a common leaf blower, which yielded some impressive results. So here we're testing our makeshift flamethrower with leaf blower, PVC attachment hopper, and tiki torch ignition source to see if we can get a decent fuel air mixture fireball out of this system. We're taking coffee creamer and mixing it with air to see what'll happen. In three, two, one. Okay, it looks like we were getting little puffs of flame there. Uh, what we've been doing is we've been progressively constricting our airflow because I think we were just trying to get too much air past our ignition source and it was blowing it out. Uh, so another iteration, more progress. So we're testing a night for greater contrast. We're gonna be testing coffee creamer in our modified leaf blower flamethrower. So we're gonna go with coffee creamer in three, two, one. All right, now we're trying cinnamon to see if we can spice things up. So we're testing cornstarch to see if we can crisp things up a little bit. So now we're testing granulated sugar to see if we can have a sweet demonstration. Not quite so well that time, that's all right. Now we're testing coffee to see how effective a dark roast really is. Not too much, maybe our ground was too, uh, too coarse. 
or that is decaf. All right, now we're testing flour to see if we can get a little shake and bake. Now we're testing powdered sugar because while granulated sugar did okay, we're thinking powdered sugar is going to do a lot better. So here we go. Most of our fuels produced impressive fireballs, but while the nature or shape of the flame may have changed, one of our overarching conclusions that we came to is that it is the particle size that really determines as a critical factor its flammability, which is why ground coffee or even granulated sugar, which is inherently flammable, did so poorly, while powdered sugar, powdered coffee creamer, and even standard baking flour had such spectacular results. Thanks for watching and thinking with us. What sort of things are you facing that if you looked at them slightly differently or had a small change in environment or circumstances could unlock massive potential, much like these dust explosions? Let us know in the comments. If you like interesting projects or lateral problem solving, or you just like asking big questions, then I would ask you subscribe Ring the bell for notifications, so that way you can stay updated on the projects we're working on. And if you have ideas, or feedback, or suggestions, let us know in the comments below. Now we're on to work on other projects where we'll figure it out. Thanks.